First, we go to Hampden Park, where the old firm Celtic and Rangers were meeting once again in the Scottish Cup final. They've been battling now for 75 years, and each have won the Cup 19 times. Rangers kick off, and very soon Celtic, in the hooped shirts, are living up to their reputation as international top liners. Since Jock Steen became their manager four years ago, they've won 10 major honours. And in less than two minutes, Celtic are one up, thanks to Billy McNeil. Inevitably, at these Celtic Rangers encounters, feelings run pretty high. Both teams were already below strength due to injuries. Everything indicated further victims today. It took Celtic the remainder of the half to show which way the cookie was to crumble, and how it crumbled when it came. A minute to the interval, Bobby Lennox scored the second. There was barely time for Martin to recover before he was beaten by the third goal from Connolly. We all know how McKinnon feels. After the interval, Rangers quickly showed that what they may lack in skill, they make up in sheer blockbusting perseverance. But small compensation for those defensive blunders. There's a spirit of rivalry between these two teams that exceeds the usual conventions of sport. It's a power game that splits Scotland's largest city, played out on the terraces as readily as on the field. When Chalmers scored Celtic's fourth goal, all hell broke loose. Besides the hospital cases, some 50 people were arrested. Seemingly remote from all the ill feelings they'd aroused, Celtic prepared to celebrate the treble. The League Championship, the League Cup, and now the Scottish Cup as well. Down south at Wembley, Leicester City were making their fourth appearance.